this thing looks cool wow it's about to fly off this almost looks fake how do you mess up this bad? Yo, hop in, let's go for a ride. What's going on guys? Today we are at Copart Salvage Auto Auction where I am picking up my next project car. Look at this. Here it is. No way, I bought this thing sight unseen. I have no idea what to expect from it. You better be careful with this thing. I hope he doesn't damage it. Dang, this thing looks cool. Better than expected and much more damage than I expected. But it's all right. All right, he's forking it from the back. Woo. Dusty. Good. Here it is, my 2008 Jeep Wrangler X. This is the first Jeep I've ever bought. I barely know anything about Jeeps. So anyone that knows things about them, try to educate me in the comments. Um, and whoever doesn't know much about them, we're gonna learn about it together. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Obviously the thing looks pretty sick. The damage is very severe. We can see the whole front end is shifted really hard. So this is gonna be very interesting. This is like very, hard hit i actually have never repaired one of these before i don't know anything about them i bought this site unseen it doesn't even start so this is going to be a really fun project for us to dig into i'm looking forward to after fixing it modding it and things like that but first off let's do a first impressions and walk around of this thing so starting off in the front we see a lot of damage we see the panels aren't very damaged but the, there is some frame damage that's for sure if we look at it head on we see that the frame is shifted to the left this thing didn't get bent what bent was the frame rail the bumper itself isn't very damaged but the frame rails are the things that shifted to the side there's a lot more damage than i expected but it's not that bad we move on to the side i mean the thing looks awesome looks like it's in pretty good shape all the panels are pretty good no severe rust around it the right side is in perfect condition the back also looks mint let's go ahead and take a look underneath i don't see any major rust issues anywhere at all the back looks good it's in pretty good condition from outside once we look at the driver's side we see that it's also pretty clean a little bit of dirt on here i hope this is dirt but it's just some scratches nothing major just some scratches under the keyhole this thing's a little rotted so i might replace this it looks like it unbolts fairly easily yeah we can get this thing replaced that's not going to be an issue the wheels are nice these wheels look basic i don't know much about them the tires look good from the damage that this fender itself bent in pretty bad windshield's not cracked though so that's good but here when you're standing on the driver's side you could definitely see the extent of the frame damage um not that big of a concern the frame damage is severe but it's nothing that we haven't seen before we can get that fixed the wheels look like they're not towing out more than they should on that side so everything looks good yeah here we see this frame rail bent really bad i might have to get that replaced not completely sure i'm gonna have to get the shop to give me a final word on that we have a lot of work to do on this thing but that's really cool because i'm gonna learn a lot through the process i know nothing about jeeps absolutely nothing also gonna customize it and get a lot of mods to make this thing look really really nice i mean i really like it already but there's some things that we do have to clean up like this uh foot stand whatever it's called i'm gonna reveal in the end of the video how much i bought it for and i want to hear your guys's opinion was it worth it for that price it seems cheap to me but there is a lot of work that has to go into it so i'm not sure how worth it exactly it is this thing's got only 70,000 miles on it and it seems to be in pretty good shape so let's hop inside and check out what we got going on in here the door doesn't seem to close very good not sure exactly why that is must be just like a hinge loose hopefully it's not more frame damage than i than i've seen but let's hop inside this seat is worn out pretty bad i could probably get a replacement so i'm not concerned about that otherwise the dash looks fairly clean no airbags deployed surprisingly in this impact it is a hard top there we go yep 
four seater, but I bet you could fit five people in here. Very cool. Completely different type of uh, vehicle from anything I've ever driven. This is an automatic. I'm not sure which ones are more desirable, automatics or manuals for these. So also please let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure which one is better for what purpose exactly. Uh, an issue I see so far is this door won't shut right. Not really sure what's going on, but we'll figure that out. Another concern about this Jeep is that it does not start. But see, we got no power. So either a ground wire ripped off or just the battery is dead. So it's not starting, but that's not a concern. We'll get that figured out. Once we get home, we'll throw on a jump pack and try to start it up. Because right now it's completely dead. It has no power. Looks like it's been due for an oil change for about 2,000 miles, which is not bad. So it's been somewhat taken care of. Let's see what we got in here. Sometimes you never know what to expect from these auction cars. Pretty cool, removable doors. Really excited for that this summer. So from the looks of it, there's some frame damage over here that hopefully once it's pulled out, the door will be able to shut fine. But honestly, not much of a concern. This looks like some sort of aftermarket uh, rear bumper. I don't know anything about them. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we're dealing with there. The battery is connected, so it must just be dead. This is the 3.8 V6. I don't see any major oil leaks. The main thing I'm looking for under the hood here is shifted and broken motor mounts, which does not seem to be the case here. Seems to be fine. Nothing major. I'm going to take a look underneath for any coolant leaks or any ripped lines. I see some sort of liquid here, but I think that's just uh, water from like the rain or something because I don't see any ripped um, tubes or anything like that. So, so far looks good. See a broken stabilizer link. Also not much of a concern. These are very easy and cheap to replace. That concludes our first look at this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and strap it down and we're gonna get this thing home, throw a jump pack on it and see if we can start it up. I really wanna hear this thing run. So right now we're strapping it down and we're going home and we'll pick up from there. So we have finally made it home and now we are going to try to start this thing. This thing was listed as a non-runner so I'm really hoping that I'm able to get it started. Most importantly, I really wanna put power to it. I'm hoping there's no ground wires that are damaged and it's gonna be able to light up the entire uh, car. All the electronics are gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the jumper cables on, see if it lights up all the electronics, and we'll go from there, see where it leads us. We got good news right away. As soon as I connected the terminals, I already see a light turned on inside. Uh, I heard a sound come from under here, some electronics engaged. So that means that there is no ground issue so far. Right now, my main concern is starting this thing up so we see the mileage on the dash 70,000 miles all right i think we're ready to crank we're in park let's give it a go see what happens nothing that is strange okay so there is an electrical issue it's not starting listen to the click so i just had john pull up here and all he did was press the brake pedal and it started right up. Oh, you had a video of you not being able to start it? Exactly, yeah. I guess the thing was just pressing the brake or something. I think it, the battery just had to charge up, but. Some free m &Ms. Yeah. That's awesome. So let's, let's listen to how it runs. Sounds pretty good to me. That's amazing. I'm so happy it started. One way or another, we got it running. So that's a big thing that I was really worried about. Really happy that's taken care of. Now we know this thing runs. That's one less thing to worry about. What's this? What in the world? No, this is, I think it's like some sort seat of covers. covers. Yeah, seat covers, wow. These are ugly though. Yeah, you don't want them. There's probably eight on them. Yeah. Oh, the headlights in here. Wow, you know your way around these Jeeps, huh? <laughs> B biggest concern was starting it, you know? And now Why like, was it enhanced on Copar? I guess they didn't know your trick of pressing the brake. Oh. oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my attempt at breaking free this wheel. So I'm gonna be driving. 
with the wheel locked. Oh man, I'm coming off already. Let's check out where we're at now. Not bad. The weight is pushing it down, so it's not gonna fall, fall hard, you know? Wow, it's about to fly off. It's on the very, very edge. You see that? It's literally about to fall off the trailer. This side's good though. <laughs> Alright, let's see, where are we at? Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> How does this even happen? <laughs> that's crazy. I did not expect this. This is unbelievable. This almost looks fake. How do you mess up this bad? Crazy how stuck it is. What could even be going on? I think it's a seized rotor. Yeah. It's literally so stuck. Shock is like completely disconnected. That's what was rattling. And this sway bar is broken off. Oh, there we go. Success. No, it's a little bit, it's still a little seized, but we'll, we'll, we'll break it loose. Yo, hop in, let's go for a ride. Let's see what this thing can do. Cannot turn right at all. Yeah, you don't want to pop the wheel. Make sure you're not turning into the bumper because these tires are expensive, you're gonna pop it. Yeah. I can only turn left though, or go straight. So I'm gonna straighten out. I just gotta make sure not to hit these Teslas over here and I'll be good. Let's give us some speed. Don't go too far from the parking spot in case like something pops out. That's true. I'm just gonna do one circle here. Once it's fixed, you're climbing that mountain, right? Oh yeah. No, I'm really happy that uh, rusted brake or whatever, caliper, broke loose yeah that was a little bit concerning you know <clears throat> good stuff though so far much better than i expected you know i expected much more issues now you could load it on the trailer and stuff since the mm -hmm. wheel freed up mm -hmm. did you bring your scanner to check all these no it's going to be a little bit later the fan just turned on so i can't run it too much i don't want to break the fans You should start ordering these like little pieces. Yeah. All right guys, so that's a wrap for today's video. My final price after fees for this thing um, was $5,300 and some change. I think is a steal for this thing. I've been seeing them go for like listed for around 17,000, 16,000 with a book value around 14 grand. So I think that's an excellent price, but let me know in the comments, what do you think of that price? Again, that's $5,300 and some change. I got a lot further than I expected for the first uh, day having this thing. I was able to get it started, which was a big concern for me. It was listed as an enhanced, which meant that at Copart, it did not run and drive. It didn't even start, but we got it running. We got it driving. Uh, another concern was the back wheel. It was seized up, but as soon as I got it off the trailer, it wasn't easy, but we got it off. And uh, once we got it off the trailer, the thing broke loose like nothing. So that's also a really good sign. So honestly, it's best case scenario. I'm very happy with the results we got. So far, all in all, it's coming together really nicely. In the next video, I'm gonna start taking the parts apart off the front end, seeing just how bad the damage is and making the job easier for the frame guy to straighten the frame rails. I'm also gonna be ordering a lot of parts. Let me know in the comments, what are some good mods that I might as well get while I'm stripping the front end off? I'm gonna be doing a lot of research, seeing what I need to get. But I wanna see um, all your suggestions as to what I should get for this thing. So go ahead, leave those, uh, leave those comments for me. I respond to every single comment. As for now, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.